ब्रज जन रंजना यामुना तीरावनचारी यामुना तीरावनचारी तिराद मादावा कुंजाविहारी जय गोपी जन वल्लाभा गिरिवर दारी जय गोपी जन वल्लाभा गिरिवर दारी यशोदनंदना व्रज जन रंजना यशोदनंदना व्रज जन रंजना यामुन तीरा मन चारी यामुन तीरा मन चारी राध मादावा कुंजा बिहारी हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय प्रभु पदा जय प्रभु पदा जय प्रभु पदा जय प्रभु पदा चल प्रभु पाद प्राण धन हे जय राधा माधव राधा माधव राधे 
शिल प्रभुपाद प्राण दन हे जय राधा माधव राधा माधव राधे शिल प्रभुपाद प्राण दन हे जय राधा माधव राधा माधव राधे प्राण दन हे जय राधा माधव राधा माधव राधा माधव सरकी की जाए सुपाद की जाए गौर भक्त की जाए एवं विष्णुपाद परमंत परिवराज का चरा स्त्रोत्र सत सृष्टि रहेंगे ऐसी भक्त वेदांत तो स्वामी सुप्रोपाद की जाए एवं विष्णुपाद परमंत परिवराज का चरा स्त्रोत्र सत सृष्टि मध्य रहेंगे शिल भक्त सिद्धांत सरस्वत ठाकुर को स्वामी प्रोपाद की जाए आनंद गोड वैष्णव मंद की जाए नमाचर हरदास ठाकुर की जाए प्रेम चे कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधार श्री वासाद गौर भक्त की जाए शिशि राधा कृष्ण गोप गोपीनाथ श्याम कुंड राधा कुंड गिरी गोवर्धन की जाए रजभुवन श्री वृंदावन धाम की जाए नवदेव मायापुर धाम की जाए श्री क्षेत्र जगन्नाथ पुरी धाम की जाए गंगा माई यमुना माई की जाए भक्ति देवी तुलसी महाराण की जाए समवेत भक्त वृंद की जाए हरिणाम संकीर्तन की जाए ताय गोर प्रेमानंद ओम विष्णु बदाय कृष्ण बेस्टाय भूतल श्रीमते भक्त वेदांत स्वामी नाम नमस्ते सारस्वत देवे गौरवाणी के प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवाद पाचाचारदाय कृष्ण कृष्णाय भूतल श्रीमते भक्त सिद्धांत सरस्वती राम वार्ष भानवी देवी दयिताय कृपाप दे कृष्ण संबंध विज्ञान दाय ने प्रभवे नम गौरपाद की जय भक्त सिद्धांत थैंक यू मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग ट्रेनिंग फ्रॉम भगवद गीता चैप्टर ट्वेल्व वर्ष नंबर Eighteen to nineteen, good devotion service. You can use online or the, the cell phone, or you have Bhagavad Gita. You can use it. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कुच नरम चरोत्तम दीं सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदेर नष्टा प्रयेशु अभद्रेशु नि भागवत सेवया भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर्भवति नैष्टिकी ओम तत्सत चैप्टर ट्वेल्व डिवोशन सर्विस वर्ष नंबर एटीन एंड नाइनटीन एंड ट्वेंटी समस्त्रो च मित्रे अपमानयो शीतोष्ण सुख दुखेशु समसंगा विभर्जिता तुल्य निंदास्तुतिर्मौनी संतुष्टो ये न के नचि अनिकेता स्थिरमति भक्तिमान में प्रियो नर टुडे बींग हैप्पी अक्षय तृतीया मे टेन्थ फ्राइडे वैशाख मास वैशाख शुक्ल तृतीया अक्षय तृतीय वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डे एंड ऑल्सो चंदन यात्रा डे and uh, today's verse also some of these past times are connected um, as we can see here um, related to chandan um, so 
we'll discuss that. So yeah. Samasetro cha mitre cha. Tata mana apamana yo. Sito shna sukha dukkesho. Samasanga vivajitaha. Tulyanindas to termoni. Santos to yerake nachit. Aniketast Ramatir Bhaktiman me priyo naraha Samasetro jamitrecha Tata mana apamana yo Sitoshna sukha dukkeshu Samasanga vivajita Tulyaninda astu termoni Santos to yena ke nachit Aniketa stiramate Bhaktiman me priyo naraha Tata-mana-apamana-yo-sito-sna-sukha-dukkesu-sama-sangha-vivajjitaha-tulyaninda-stu-termoni-santus-to-yena-ke-na-chit-tata-mana-apamana-yo-sito-sna-sukha-duk
मी तुम्ही प्रिया डिय नरा इमैन ट्रांसलेशन बाइज डिवाइन के ऐसी भक्त वेदांत संस्कृपाद संस्कृपाद की जाए वन हु इज इक्वल टू फ्रेंड्स एंड एनिमीज हु इज इक्वली पॉइज्ड इन ऑनर एंड डिसऑनर हीट एंड कोल्ड हैप्पीनेस एंड डिस्ट्रेस फेम एंड इनफेमी हु इज ऑलवेज फ्री फ्रॉम कंटैमिनेटिंग एसोसिएशन ऑलवेज साइलेंट एंड सैटिस्फाइड विद एनीथिंग हु डजंट केयर फॉर एनी रेजिडेंस हु इज फिक्स्ड इन नॉलेज एंड हु इज एंगेज्ड इन डिवोशन सर्विस सच अ पर्सन इज वेरी डियर टू मी रिपीट वन हु इज इक्वल टू फ्रेंड्स एंड एनिमीज who is equally poised in honor and dishonor heat heat and cold happiness and distress fame and infamy who is always free from contaminating association always silent and satisfied with anything who doesn't care for any residence who is fixed in knowledge and who is engaged in devotion service such a person is very dear to me so that's why in the purport you see that sangha vajjita proper started from there he didn't start from the first word a devotee is always free from all bad that is where first he started you can understand the importance so then next verse is this is the last verse of this chapter भक्तास्ते अतीव मे प्रिय भक्तास्ते अतीव मे प्रिय ये तो धर्मृतम भक्तास्ते अतीव मे प्रिया and faith and transcendental faith and devotion mat parama taking lord krishna is the supreme in his heart accepting and trying to follow paripaste worshiping him and following him with great faith so then naturally all this then that is the um, he will become the dear most to the lord bhaktaste ativa me priya if the in that middle line is followed naturally word to word a those who to but dharma of religion amrutam nectar idam this yatha as muktam said paripasate completely engage upasate paripasate like upasana or upavas same so always that is the meaning is coming close meeting uh, say, sitting close or close to the lord that is what upavas means it's not so much about fasting upavas means sitting near means uh, using the time and fasting means stopping uh, you know day, every day eating so many things we do <laughs> that day we engage, reduce that time and engage the time in service of the lord that's what upas means upas they also say meaning worshiping we not uh, will minimize other worship and uh, increase the worship of the lord that day and paripas they means even further stress para means superior so supreme lord is the um, ultimate goal of life so that's a paripas the word is used uh, completely engage that is that means all our mind intelligence senses everything full focus shraddha dana with faith mat parama taking me the supreme lord as everything 
That means uh, as a father, as a mother, as a friend, as a guardian, as a teacher, say he is everything. So that's what he is saying here. That's a Makparama. Bhakta. Bhakta. Devotees. Devotees. Te. 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 Ativa. Ativa. Very, very. That means uh, you're not dear, not very dear, very, very dear. Me. me. To me. To me. Priya. Priya. Dear. dear. Translation by Those who follow this imperishable path of devotion service and who completely engage themselves with faith, making me the supreme goal, are very, very dear to me. Please repeat. Yeah. So this is essence. Hmm? Uh, Lord is summarizing hmm? in this hmm, last verse. Always the first verse and last verse, uh, the essence hmm, will be summarizing important instructions. Again, so we'll try to understand. Om Agnana Timirandasya Gnananjana Salakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Sri Kurave Nama Mukham Karoti Vachalam Pangum Langete Grim Yat Krupatam Hamande Sri Gurum Denatarinam Paramananda Madhavam Sri Chaitanya Svam Vancha Kalpatarubhasya Krupasandhu Bhayevacha Padita Nam Bhavane Bhyo Vaishnave Bhyo Namo Namo Anta Kodi Vaishnavandu Ki Jaya Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Kadadara Sri Vasadi Gaura Bhakta Vrindha Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Sri Chaitanya Mano Vishnam Stapitam Mena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadami Yam Dadati Swapadam Dikam Rupa Gosam Rupa Dikam so here in chapter 2, 18, 19, 20, we are discussing. We are already saying this chapter has the three sections discussing. Impersonal versus personal. Versus. But the beginning, seventh chapter beginning, the bhakti is the jewel, crown jewel of the karma, jnana, yoga, nashtanga yoga, hatha yoga, kriya yoga, vihanga yoga, you name it so many. These days even more names are coming. Mm. Patanjali has given one, but now mm, there are so many. Mm. Kundalini Yoga, I don't know, many of them I may not know, but uh, every day they are coming with new names. Uh, but all these are secondary. Mm. The primary is in the center. Because they, there are so many walks of life, uh, so many people follow as different intelligence, different level, different grades. So that's why Lord Krishna is <laughs> giving everybody so that they can come slowly, gradually from the first six chapters and the last six chapters so that, but the essence is in the middle. This is the crown jewel. So one must take it seriously. Today also, so Akshay Trutiya and uh, means there is no uh, deterioration. Anything which is done, the spiritual aspects, that which is pleasing to the Lord. So, that is the most important aspect. Means whatever Lord says here, it's a, Lord is saying here, Stira Matir, Sraddha Dhana, Mat Parama, that is the dear most. And ba, that's why Bhagavad Gita, the seventh chapter begins with Maya Sakta Mana Partha. And he's ending also with Mat Parama. He's not telling some, someone else, <coughs> virtue someone else. He's telling to me only. Directly Lord Krishna is speaking and he's telling uh, clear instructions. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, he would have said, he worship no, no, such and such personality. But it is very clear. So, Maya Sakta Mana Partha Yoga Minjan Madhashraya Asam Sayam Samagrama Veta Grasa Tachunu. You must hear with great attention, with great um, attachment. Maya Asakta. If you want to increase your attachment, you want to understand this bhakti. Uh, because otherwise we can't, we can't understand the devotion service, we can't understand any Vedic literature, we can't understand um, Vedic culture, we can't understand Sanatana Dharma, Bhagavad Dharma, Prem Dharma, because Krishna, Lord Krishna is making that point very clear. Middle six chapters uh, cannot be understood unless 
bhakti is there bhaktyamam abhijanati he didn't say karmenam jnanenam yoginam he could have used any of that but he is very clear in this statement uh, so that's why janma karma ch me divyam evam yo veti tattvataha the tattva the bhakti tattva in truth has to be understood how will you understand if you understand this middle six chapters um, by following the lord's instructions then we can uh, understand what is devotion service means otherwise it is not possible um, so tattva deham punar janma naimiti mameti so arjuna sir bhakti no takuru is also emphasizing the same point um, this unless this uh, one understands uh, this tattva that tattva can only be understood by practicing bhakti and practicing bhakti can only be done if it is under the guidance of a you devotee on his advanced devotee this is the same in the essence of the seventh canto narsing the um, past time is coming up narsing chaturdashi um, 22nd may wednesday the, the ninth chapter when narsing the appears and kills hiranyakashipu in that chapter also verse number one. I think eighteen. Uh, um, so there also uh, that summary. This is essence, but this cannot be practiced uh, if there is a, not guided, not taking shelter of the pure devotee. It shall propel the monofed acharya. Uh, uh, Present it is then it is not possible to so practice devotion service is not possible. Uh, so because we can think of something else as bhakti. Uh, so because it is not. with external body it is not with the senses it can it is not with the mind it it is to do with the soul and it is to do with the heart uh, so that is the characteristics and the of the pure devotion service is explained as klesha uh, agni subhada sandara and the vishesh atma and moksha laguta akrut sri krishna akarshani And it is a uh, one more characteristic. Klesha uh, Agni means it removes all the sinful activities, nullifies completely. Otherwise, generally, this lifetime whatever balance is there, balance is given, it's not enough. Still more balance is there still. And that means for next life. But if you practice devotion service, next life uh, future balance are also gets wiped out. If you practice under the guidance of uh, your devotee, devotion service, now everything can wiped out. No other path can clear out the. your future bank balance it cannot clear out this bank balance from this life itself it cannot clear out because the proclivity inside the heart the desires will not go away, purified get purified you can uh, do some austerity by which you can maybe uh, uh, atone for the sinful activity to some extent uh, but you can't remove the desire in the heart uh, by any other process not through karma not through dhyana not through yoga Uh, so this is uh, Sukadev was some statement. Parikshit Maharaj also am saying this. Why are you talking about this austerity, so-called austerity, so-called charity? Uh, this is not useful. It is like bathing elephant, the bathing again and again, putting the mud again. What is use of this? Then Sukadev, yes, what you said is right. None of this can remove the desire in the heart, unwanted desire in the heart. Otherwise, we saw that all these great yogis could have perfected, but they can't remove in the heart. Nationally, we can try to do yoga and. practice the control but minute something comes in the front finished um, because inside the heart is not purified um, then pariksha sudha gosam says kejit kevalaya bhaktiya kevalaya he didn't say it. with karma mishra gnana mishra yoga mishra you can do what you like um, kevalaya bhaktiya um, so vasudeva parayana he didn't say um, some other xyz um, vasudeva parayana सना वसुदेव वसुदेव कृष्ण केचित केवलया भक्ते वासुदेव परायण अगम दुन्वंति कारसने निहरम बेव वास्तव सो दैट इज क्लेशाग्नि शुभदा सो एंड वन मोर इज देयर सांद्रानंद विशेष दैट मींस कंसंट्रेटेड ब्लिस वंस यू प्रैक्टिस दिस प्रोसेस ग्रेजुअली यू कैन रियलाइज यू योरसेल्फ एवरीबॉडी कैन रियलाइज देमसेल्फ nobody needs to tell us until that point everybody somebody has to suggest to instruct guide you know repeatedly but once we get in inside that feeling that happiness as shri pad madhavendra puri today being chandan yatra this is all these symptoms what is been described here in this today's verse 1819 tulyananda astu tirmoni santushto yanati yanachit tiramatir 
भक्तिमान में प्रियो न समस्त्रोच मित्र तथा मान अपमान यो शीतोष्ण सुख दुख के संग विभर्जित जन तुल्य नंदा ऑल दी सिम्टम्स मौनी वॉज वेरी साइलेंट यू वॉज नॉट टॉकिंग टू एनी बडी यू वॉज नॉट इवन बेगिंग एनीथिंग यू वॉज नॉट ईटिंग नॉट स्लीपिंग इज सो मच इमर्स एब्सॉर्ब बट वेन एज सुन एज ई हर्ड दट द ड्रीम लॉर्ड इज इंस्ट्रक्टिंग गोपाल देटी देन इमीडिएटली he took all the inconveniences till that time he was not uh, associating with anybody he was fully absorbed in himself in pure devotion service but as soon as he received the order from the lord then immediately he performed um, both uh, two instructions he did two times um, he got the dream lord is directly instructing uh, both he performed even though both are very uh, is not possible for ordinary person to do <laughs> so and is so he, he didn't even want to um, he was receiving great fame for the second activity even for first activity but the second activity was more cherachor gopinath um, remuna in jagannathpur very close to jagannathpur um, temple um, there all the devotees chetan maha lord chetan mahaprabhu went non nityan prabhu was uh, explaining this past time to lord chetan mahaprabhu and the devotees and um, the, there this past time was discussed how lord performed this beautiful past time to glorify sri pad madhavendra puri's pure devotion service is symptoms and that is sandra and the vishesh and the ecstatic concentrated bliss so he showed and so and then um, sri krishna akar this is what attracts krishna nothing else can attract in this world through our scholarship our beauty our austerity our charity is good good to do all these things uh, no one is denying but only thing which can attract krishna is a uh, pure devotion service one who is doing lovingly without any expected no business is involved uh, with uh, love only then lord is immediately sold to that person so that's why sri pad madhavendra puri was lord was sold by his devotion gopis vrindavan was is uh, they were sold to the lord lord was attracted by their Mm, uh, pure love nanda nanda maharaj and his other my god boy intense devotion mm, intense devotion mm, so that is the verse uh, sri pad madhavendra puri quotes mm, similar as uh, gopis whatever they are thinking the same mood and same um, the vipralamba wow mm, separation from the lord uh, is feeling and then is quoting that particular words in chapter 4 madhya leela chetan sirtham famous verse 197 i think uh, anyway so it is this attracts a lot krishna the pure devotion so with these symptoms proper explains in that madhavendra puri's past time prudh maharaj past times uh, lord vishnu appears in prudh maharaj arena also and the instruction there also proper is making that point that one cannot um, develop all these qualities unless one perform that's a stira matir i was telling this is the most important quality um, if one engages in pure devotion service gradually slowly and gradually step by step he will come he will try to engage as much as possible initially there may be desires but gradually that will purify it as we are approaching the lord through bonafide acharya mushal um, profal then naturally that will happen um, but stira matir is very important um, as below mangal tagur also mentioned bhakti stira tarat vai Uh, that's why we are talking this morning was consistency just like anybody likes consistency father mother likes the children to do better and better not less better and better and better more in their studies in their conduct in their behavior nobody likes uh, same thing in the devotion service also lord also likes spiritual master also likes to see that consistency uh, uh, so when we whatever food we eat also we like to see uh, wife or husband or whoever is cooking uh, if the taste is uh, not consistent uh, so then we don't like it uh, same thing here also so it's na- natural uh, so the consistency has to be there that means fixed bhakti stira tara atvai bhagavan sya daivena phalati divya kishora mukti मुक्ते मुकिलितांजल सेवते अस्मान धर्माद काम मुक्त समय प्रतीक्षा 
Dharma or the Kama Moksha rejected. That is secondary. Especially in Brahma Matva Godi Sampradaya, from especially from Madhavendra Puri onwards, this is being stressed. Mm. Few devotion service, especially in even Dhan Deverence, is even beyond even Dasya Sakya, especially Sakya Vatsalya Madhuri, especially Madhuri Ras. Sri Pad Madhavendra Puri onwards, this has been highest. Krishna Prema. Including liberation is rejected because uh, that is still business. So Bhagavatam begins from there only. Dharma projita kaitavu atra paramo nirmat saranam satam. Kaitava means cheating. All dharma are the kama These are all cheating means you are expecting something from the Lord. But pure devotion service means you are only doing it to please the Lord. Preeti. Machita, Matgata, Prana, Bodayanta, Prasparam, Katayanta, Staman, Tusham, Ramanticha. They will get great pleasure. Uh, so giving great pleasure, discussing about Krishna to give pleasure to Lord Krishna and his representatives and other Vaishnavas. Uh, not to get pleasure, naturally, he will also get automatically. But it is the duty of the practitioner is to give pleasure to the Lord. That's why we apply Chandan on this Akshay Trutiya day. To please the Lord, to, to cool Lord's body, He doesn't need it. So Lord doesn't need anything, but Lord accepts. So even small things like Sudam Vipra, that also happened. So many, almost ten plus fifteen, sixteen or more past times happened on Akshay Truti in their day. All other wonderful glories of the few devotees of the Lord exhibiting this twelfth chapter. Always we should look at the examples whenever we discuss. This middle six chapters, especially. So, anyway, the, the, this chapter has the three sections. The first one, as Arjuna is asking, Evam Sarutiktaya Bhaktasthama Paryupasa, again Paryupasa. Impersonalism versus personalism. Or Bhakti is the topmost, that is the first section. The second section is the great range of, or category of devotion service, categories of Bhakti, from Raghunuga Bhakti, the highest level, then Vaidhi Sadhana Bhakti, then uh, um, uh, further down, work for Krishna. If you cannot work for Krishna, then uh, you read the literature. Um, so, like that, Lord is instructing one by one. If you cannot do this, do this. First level, second level, third level, fourth level, five levels or so. Lord is instructing. That's Antaranga Bhakti, Bhairanga Bhakti, and gradually like that, Lord is stressing in the second section. And then the third section, uh, which is from the 13th verse all the way to 20. Is Bhaktasthvam. These eight verses describing the qualities of the devotee which is dear to the Lord, very dear to the Lord. So that's where we are in. So that's why we have six characteristics of pure devotion service we mentioned. So it's very auspicious. So Subhada. So and removes all the simple activities, face Agni, and ecstatic concentrated bliss one can receive, but it needs to wait, patience is required. Tatya and Kampamvars. Sri Krishna attracts Lord Krishna also. So that's what, why someone is, uh, most of the whole world is attracted to the mother. Because mother is generally very compassionate, always um, caring for their children. Doesn't matter uh, how they react or whatever they do um, from the beginning to till the last breath. Uh, that is general uh, characteristics of the mother. In this world, so so the best food is whatever mother cooks. That is the best food, general. Because she is, it is not so much what masala, what this, what that. It is to do with uh, my child will come and eat. Uh, so so much uh, when he will come, when he will eat. She may not have eaten, but still she is cooking from morning and waiting. The same thing with the Ishwatama is thinking when my Lala is going to come and eat. Uh, when you will take bath, uh, what does I am going to put you? She is constantly meditating on the same from all the way from 3.30, whole night, whole day. Uh, so they cannot sleep. This is the 24 by 7 thought process churning in the heart and in the mind. Uh, so, so much focus on Lord Krishna, uh, the center of their life. So that, that that's why these qualities are described so that we understand how to be so in Prahlad Maharaj, in Prudu Maharaj's pastime, Prabhupada is making that point. Lord Vishnu himself is instructing on this exact um, similar points of this particular verse. Uh, so, Tulya Nindastu, Samasya Trocha Mitrecha, 
uh, first point is when mentioned setrozu mitrezu but the important point is the last one stiramati one who is fixed up in devotion service son uh, when lord vishnu appeared in maharaj putus assembly lord vishnu is instructing be aloof from bodily activities hmm. sama sama samottama samadhika uh, be equipoys with your own level with your above your level lower than your level with all levels of living entities you be equal equipoys uh, they may defame you they may honor you they may despise you there may be difficulties happiness etc in all the situations be aloof from the bodily activities because uh, on the bodily basis only this happiness is in the bodily basis only we pay what is when and the honor is on all these are coming on the bodily basis only pralad maharaj is telling yeah till now i heard from my spiritual master narada muni said in uh, in material world there is a duality there is a fame and uh, there is a friend and enemy now i can i am seeing right now uh, the iranyakashipu uh, the sanda namarka teaching uh, uh, yes now i can see practically i can see so whatever my spiritual master said I, and i i can realize this friendship and my own father has the enemy attitude mm-hmm. maharaj not see he is still mm, instructing his uh, demoniac schoolmates also and uh, and his father also when lord narsingh the kid also that, that time also is asking mm, please deliver my father mm, please forgive him still he was na he was very compassionate pralad maharaj so is equal samasya trocha mitrecha same thing lord vishnu is instructing but propa is making that point that if one is not aloof from the bodily activities he can not he cannot develop these qualities he will always be in anxiety and agitation if somebody says something it's too hot or too cold he can't tolerate it he can't tolerate it mano dishonor in the chetana charitamrita antileela chapter 8 i think chapter 8 ramachandra khan ramachandra puri criticizing the lord ramachandra puri is god brother of sri chetan mahaprabhu madhavendra puri madhavendra puri's disciple iswara puri and ramachandra puri parmananda puri these are all the disciples of madhavendra puri chetan mahaprabhu's god brother because lord chetan mahaprabhu has taken initiation from iswara puri maharaj in gaya uh, so iswara puri maharaj and uh, this ramachandra puri is uh, you know, at the same level contemporary so chetan mahaprabhu is god brother so ramachandra puri is, uh, he criticized madhavendra puri also spiritual master also so because of that uh, mentality he was instructing when madhavendra puri is about to pass away from this world he was he was uh, crying and you know great separation from the lord rather he didn't understand he was why are you crying you should uh, meditate on brahman uh, and madhavendra puri became so you know upset uh, and you fool rascal you, you are not you are uh, instructing me to meditate on brahman uh, so get out from here don't show your face again so if i see you then at the time of me passing away if i see you then uh, so it will be miserable so for me so don't show your face again so Rishwara Puri Maharaj didn't utter a single word. He served his spiritual man, Madhavendra Puri, with great devotion, great devotion. Rather, he was singing, he was reading from Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam. He was facilitating that mood. He understood the desire of his spiritual master, his mood, and he served in that way. So, that he received great blessing. On the other side, Ramachandra Puri received material desire started coming. To the extent that he started, now he will start. after that past time then um, madhavendra puri passed away then he came to chetra mahaprabhu used to come to madhavi dham jagannath puri and he used to you know, jagadananda first started with jagadananda pandit he came to jagadananda pandit and he said yeah now he started he fed the Ram, ramachandra puri jagadananda pandit fed the ramachandra puri because he is a elder god brother then uh, now they now you eat this are they brought from lord jagannath temple most of the times they they buy prasadam from lord jagannath puri it can feed their every day prasadam can be fed for thousands of people lakhs of people are on the bazaar so they brought the prasadam then jagadananda pandit you eat now i ate then he made him eat multiple times till the neck then then after he finished then he started criticizing 
for a sanyasi this is a great disturbance uh, uh, eating um, so much without controlling the senses uh, this is not good uh, then you can practice sanyas this is breaking regulative principles uh, so mishta 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 amruta anna um, sweet meats um, you cannot eat um, but uh, you are taking so much he is the one who again and again asked and fed him on top of it then he started criticizing then he didn't stop right there telan but he didn't say anything because this is the qualities as in this verse it is tulya ninda astuti mauni tulya ninda equal equipoise so you know somebody criticizes he accept and so it work because he is not acting on the bodily platform he is aloof from the bodily activities he neglects so the jagadana party didn't say anything then uh, he went um, ramachandra puri went further to chaitanya mahaprabhu then he did the same thing um, so uh, he was eating chaitanya mahaprabhu he saw um, specifically he always d- did the same thing in jagannath puri he was going to each and every devotee and then making sure that either he is feeding or whenever he eats uh, whenever they were eating then he was there watching and then after they finish then start criticizing finding faults not finding anything positive always finding negative only mm, that was his behavior because he started from there when he when he uh, disobeyed the orders of spiritual master he uh, acted impudently with spiritual master immediately that started it germinates to the extent that he criticized lord chaitanya lord krishna himself because uh, there is a verse tag ishwar paryanta this offense from when you start blaspheming a, devotees which are great vice no mahajan then it can go up to the lord also and then that that's a great fall down so that's what happened to ramachandra pur uh, so he started criticizing lord chaitanya mahaprabhu but how lord chaitanya mahaprabhu took his teaching lesson chaitanya mahaprabhu also he did the same thing one day he came then ants were there uh, then he is criticizing the lord and devotees see uh, devotees you all eat so many sweets uh, so that's why the ants are there here everywhere ants are there so this is not the business of a sanyasi you are supposed to be uh, controlled mm-hmm. as well in eating sweets and all you are supposed to control mm-hmm. so uh, in that way he said mm-hmm. next day again no uh, he, he saw that chetan then after that when chetan mahavi criticized about the eating also then chetan mahavi told instructed govinda from tomorrow onwards uh, whatever one fourth mm-hmm. of the portion no more mm-hmm. even if anybody is inviting you clearly make sure that that's all otherwise you will not see me again you all can be here and act out whatever you like but you will not see me again so if you want to, me to be here then you follow what i am instructing chaitanya uh, mahaprabhu instructed on the third time also then again ramachandra puri started doing the same thing then this time when then when he went out then the devotees came because he, he, he didn't do just with one jagadananda pandit chaitanya mahaprabhu and others also he did then all the devotees came and he saw they all saw that lord was hardly eating this time third time when he came he saw that how come you are so thin you are not supposed to be like that lord says that uh, you should not over eat you should not eat less you should be in the medium you should eat to the extent what you need but you are uh, not following this you are so thin why are you giving up the food why are you not eating properly is it he is the one who started that before now he is going in a different way and then again criticizing and after that devotees became so unhappy hearing this again and again repeated criticizing by ramachandra puri mm, then devotees came to chaitanya mahaprabhu and discussing mm, so this is what he is doing again and again repeatedly uh, with other devotees and with you also then chaitanya mahaprabhu said is what is wrong why are you finding fault with uh, ramachandra puri what he said is correct because as sanyasi we are not supposed to eat luxuriously uh, all these uh, uh, opulent uh, items like paneer and all these things that's why when chaitanya mahaprabhu was taking prasad uh, many times uh, he asked all the devotees uh, sarov damodar goswami and bakeshwar uh, pandit shivas thakur you all distribute mm, nicely sir all the sweet meats and wonderful items uh, malpuwa and everything you serve to all the, for me only keep mm, the cauliflower and mixed vegetable mm, benja not benja what is it 
I'm forgetting there's a one word that sabji mixed vegetable cauliflower peas beans and a few other vegetables as a mixed vegetable curry you can say that that is a hmm? not so no 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 <laughs> it's a mixed vegetable curry only and then venjam no not venjam venjam is uh, food hmm. forgetting it is mentioned in multiple places in chetan chet kamputa so that's what mahaprabhu that is the simplest item those who are you know you know very poor they take that and so that keep that item for me you serve all others all other nice wonderful items chet mahaprabhu was like so that's why this time when ramachandra puri did that so all the devotees came and mentioning then chet mahaprabhu took it positively he was instructing all of them no we, what he instructed is correct you, we should not you know, why are you finding faults with him mm, this is good for sanyasi mm, so uh, in that way then uh, he left after that so how one should conduct one should take mm, the instructions one should be when we hear mm, ninda from others mm, criticizing mm, or de- defam- defamation samasyatrocha mitrecha tatha mana apamanayo Mahana, they may respect that. That respect, we should accept that they are offering a respect to super soul. You know, uh, you know, every living entity has Yeshwara Sarvabhuta now. Hridde Shodhya Kachastati. That's how we should uh, accept and we offer respect back. So, Tada Mahana Apamani. So, we are not jubilated, we are not jumping up and down now since we are... getting respect so everybody is worshiping me i am great uh, no the devotee will have equipoise either man or apman he may receive so gopal also many times on the publicly was criticized so but uh, the other devotees all disciples started going uh, going on that person proper said hold on don't say anything so let him let him go on so like just like chetan mahaprabhu rather he didn't say anything negatively rather he instructed positively accepted perfection is teaching chetan mahaprabhu want to teach a lesson for us the same thing in pra in prut maharaj's case lord vishnu when he appeared that's what he was telling so so propas is writing in the fourth canto this is um is writing that one should be aloof one should be aloof from the bodily consciousness bodily activities then you will be um, neutral udasiya mm-hmm. so neutral will accept this honor dishonor fame infamy uh, happiness distress friend and enemy equipoise and proposes chanak pandi says that even you should you should be very truthful even to the enemy also mm-hmm. so friend and enemy mm, you treat mm-hmm. so because for a devotee there is no friend or is no enemy mm-hmm. so he is always compassionate others and he is always mm, praying for others Uh, so he will try his best to serve others uh, if the other person doesn't want to accept his service then uh, he will go on serving somebody else uh, so that's all he never uh, become inimical because that is rejected in the beginning of dharma projata kaito atra paramo nirmat saranam satam nirmat sarana matsarata means envy jealousy all this nirmat sarana means no more that is rejected that's not a question in this Mm, uh, Srimad Bhagavatam, from the beginning to end, this uh, particular aspect has been rejected. So that is why Dr. Prajapati had this envy against Lord Shiva. Mm, that's why he, was, he had to face the consequences. He got a good head. Still, he, that envy didn't go. Envy doesn't go so easily. Uh, second time also mm, happened. Mm, after this, you know, he cursed Narada Muni also. Because of that mentality, what was there in the heart, it didn't go fully. Mm, unless you serve the Vaishnavas, Uh, it doesn't go so easy mm, so especially um, great any mahajan lord shiva is mahajan great devotee of the lord lord is glorifying him mm, uh, ganga also came today and after to the day uh, 16 mm, or so I, things happened or many many more things has happened one of them is uh, ganga has come down lord shiva has taken with great force ganga is coming no one can you know everything will be wiped out uh, lord shiva has taken on his um, head so that it slows down then when bagira said where did ganga go how do how my my four father will be delivered then lord shiva lord then slow pace we are able to see the ganga now not at the pace which it came from the the lord accepted yes 
this is how how why, why will i not accept mm, ganga in my head because this is touched by the lotus feet of the uh, lord vishnu uh, my lord so I happily accept lord also wants to glorify lord shiva so we have given this many of these past times are there to glorify so so that's why one who rejects his devotee mm, so offends his devotee then he has to face the consequences mm, daksha mm, so that so that envy is not allowed in practice of bhakti one should not be envious of any living entity so one should be careful of that fact so so that's why one should be aloof from the bodily activities then i will be able to easily give up this be neutral so samasyatro cha mitre cha tada man apamanayo shitoshna sukha dukkesh samasanga vivarjita that samasanga another aspect is sanga vivarjita which means giving up those what kind of association uh, shri bhakti no talk uh, first chetra mahaprabhu what did chetra mahaprabhu said uh, multiple places chetra mahaprabhu said to satyaraj khan gunara satyaraj khan and ramanand vasu were asking from from srikanda uh, or kulinagram kulinagram from kulinagram they are coming to jagannath puri for the yatra so they asked who is the vaishnava then chetra mahaprabhu is one of the instruction also said asat sanga tyaga vaishnava char stri sanga ek bhakta asadu krishna abhakta asat sanga tyag one should give up the association of the materially engrossed people who has no devotion no attraction no attachment to the lord uh so atheistic completely uh, materialistic uh, uh, so that person asat sanga tyag a uh, vaishnava char first business uh, and then the as well then the second verse line is uh, giving that what does it mean also uh, those who are too much attached to the woman uh, sri sanga they are running behind the woman uh, sri sanga uh, then asadu uh, krishna abhakta or even is against the lord he uh, doesn't accept the lord so bhakti no thakur then we have to refer to bhakti no thakur and um, shikshamrutha chetana shikshamrutha is giving there are 10 aspects for why the sadhana bhakti the 10 impediments uh, so he is talking about many things so first one is talking about this only um, sanga vivarjita association he is talking six kind uh, i think four no six 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 get total 10 points is telling first one is um, uh, association unwanted association which will be obstruction to devotion service second he is telling that unfavorable unfavorable relationships is talking about then he is talking about the um, giving pain to the other living entities mm, so like that there are 10 items he is talking in that first item is this only uh, unwanted association mm. in that there are six items is mentioned the first one is uh, one who has no faith on god and no faith on any moral principle no morality no faith on god this is the first we should reject and uh, at the end he is telling uh, when we say association what it me what it meant bhakti no thakur is telling it is not that uh, going with the person in a boat going with the person in the train sitting with them in the restaurant or this is not no the intimate association so intimate dealings intimate association that should not be the case that should not be that should be avoided so the first category in the six categories is telling in the sangha vivarjita first category is one who has no faith on god no faith on morality moral principles are not there even god also they don't believe the second principle is and uh, so we access morality but no faith on god that also mm, we have to reject uh, third aspect is telling that he has faith on god this is a faith on morality but he accepts uh, the morality is the first lord is subservient to the morality they accept the morality is the key principle mm, so many people uh, get attracted to that in this world we see that mm, sometimes they may say that manav seva madav seva so many things so called morality so called truthfulness uh, uh, even arjuna was telling all these things in the beginning uh, the 20 dharma shastras is quoting uh, 
on that basis only he was telling all these reasons i i cannot fight because of compassion i cannot fight uh, no enjoyment i cannot fight simple like it's like that four five six things is giving reasons all based on the morality only not based on the essence of the uh, way scriptures so so that kind of morality the third category also bhakti not thakur says this intimate association with those um, should be rejected uh, and then the fourth category is impersonalist um, means those who doesn't believe that lord has a form they think that lord that doesn't have a form um, so or your father has a form your mother has a form your forefather has a form everybody has a where did it came from where did it came from you have you seen anything which doesn't uh, like your car anything you see in this world is uh, from somewhere it came uh, some basis is there uh, all of us are nothing falls uh, without anything uh, so then how you can expect that lord doesn't have a form uh, so shastra is very clear on this uh, particular point when lord doesn't have form means because otherwise you are going to your mother and father you are telling that you have no hands you have no legs you have no eyes Uh, any mother father will like it no one will like it so same thing with the lord lord as uh, so you are basically you are condemning the lord you are telling that uh, you are impersonal you don't have eyes you don't have form so no when the shastra says nirakar it doesn't mean lord has a material form that's what it means he has no material eyes he has no material legs he has no material body uh, so none of his bodily parts kids can go downstairs uh, so so the this no matter in that way mm, so nirakar means uh, this is to do with the material aspects mm, that is what is been denounced it is all his bodily parts everything is spiritual satchit ananda will always always whatever form he may take lord may take yeah, every time it is always uh, the same spiritual uh, spiritual form and that's why he is telling in the uh, 10th canto 84th chapter um, Lord Krishna, me at Purukshetra, meeting with Vrindavan Vasis. In that, uh, when he meets the, all the sages, he approaches the sages, he offers obeisances to Krishna and Balram. Then, then he is telling that, "Na amna yate da na murchala daya, te pananti uru kala na darsana deva sadava." Is telling that the regular water, Ganga, or any holy places. it takes long time mm. it gets purif- you get uh, some mercy some purification but it takes long time same thing with the uh, acha vigra also mm. made with the different metals or uh, nine uh, nine types of um, form uh, are there authorized forms you know, acha vigras but the even acha vigra also takes long time but by simply taking your darshan te punante uru kalena darshana deva sadava Uh, is all the sages of Narada Muni, mm, all the great devotees were there. Mm, the Lord is uh, mentioning this statement, mentioning this verse. Mm, so that's why it is a uh, very important association of devotees, uh, sadhus, mahajanas. Uh, one should take that as a uh, as a very 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 important. Mm, so that is what is helps to develop this faith, paripasate. Mm, mm, so. can one can come to that otherwise it's not possible because we have no devotion no quality no vedic culture how we can develop that only by that that's it. that is the first verse bhagavatam begins in the second chapter first canto susrusho satadhanase vasudeva kataruchven mahat sevaya vipra mahat sev mahat means this great devotee vipra seva and you serve those devotees with great faith and obedience mahat seva punya tayadha nishevana then you get that faith that faith will increase otherwise we have no faith on lord and what is this chanting what is this serving deity and why should i come to temple and take darshan why should i attend the aarti no 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 i have so many better things to do why should i hear about lord I have better things to hear because unless you you take the association of devotees it's not possible just because that's not our cup of tea cup of our milk or whatever you may say but the general slogan is cup of tea so that naturally it came see the materialistic you know world what happens this is what will happen to us so that's why this association as bhakti not thakur is expressing the fourth category the impersonal is the fifth category is telling uh, polytheists that means they don't accept any one god yes so many gods are there everybody is god 
what is the problem i can i can worship any any one so what is the problem so that they they are not fixed on any god okay so he, today he hear that uh, this god will give this benefit okay i'll worship tomorrow he'll hear so like that he will worship every god so he doesn't know how things are happening and under whose direction everything is working uh, he has no idea uh, so all these are intimate association so bhaktano thakur is elaborating on this asat sangat tyag vaishnava char what does it mean uh, but the chaitanya shikshamrita book is uh, wonderful uh, i just following like my spiritual zone jay prakash swam started this uh, book recently a uh, few months ago or last year sometime so i was fascinated uh, it is so so compassionate and so merciful it brings to the point you know, it covers all not just uh, one faith uh, he covers pretty much you know you know all the religions we heard everything so systematically uh, so expertly uh, it describes that way is called seventh go song uh, so at very elaborately very broadly so merciful so compassionate that is why his desire is uh, his son shri bhakti siddhant sir talked about some group has established all four acharyas for one of the acharyas said the, uh, the main temple in yoga peet uh, shri pad ramana acharya madhva acharya nimbar ka acharya vishnu swami all these four acharyas are there murtis in front of the uh, temple uh, uh, shri radha uh, gandharvika giridhari uh, um, date beautiful deities uh, at yoga peet in sida mayapur Uh, so because this is the mood in which you can, you can understand bhakti not takur's mood uh, and such and so let us say uh, chetan sikshamrita is uh, going in great detail explains in so many details everything bhakti not takur opened the whole flood gates of every aspect um, you name it from faith to another every stage of bhakti every aspect what is the dharma of the jiva everything has written books like a, in great detail mm-hmm. jayu dharma um, um, what is that bhakti aloka you know it everything in so much detail that uh, you will not see any other acharya describing in, in this detail mm-hmm. that means now uh, is uh, is uh, revelation mm-hmm. of everything is means how, what level is in mm-hmm. is different from spiritual but what if he is uh, opening up everything every detail of it for every living entity no if you wants to know is opening up is describing everything every aspect of it what does it mean chaitanya mahaprabhu has given but is elaborating further so that we we are clear when chaitanya mahaprabhu says something what does it mean hmm? he is opened up even shikshastra also he is the one after that only bhakti siddhant sir thakur has given commentary on top of what bhakti not thakur has given so like that anardha nivrutti also mm-hmm. he has elaborately explained anardha nivrutti also on the astakali leela we hear eight to past tense on a day that also bhakti not talk explained great detail mm-hmm. so um, so many books he has written this teachings of lord jivan that also that is the book he has sent 1800s to mcgill university monte in canada mm-hmm. so way we can understand what is brilliance is intelligence is mm-hmm. to spread Mm, this moment of krishna consciousness mm, is a long foresighted vision uh, how this will happen he has predicted already this temple of vedic all these things he has given uh, so is taking the mercy of is expanding on the mercy of lord nityanand prabhu so vision of lord nityanand prabhu we see he is the one who has given the blueprint for all this nam hatta bhakti roksha all this how the preaching should be done everything he is describing all these aspects now we are seeing those results of shri bhakti not thakur's vision today in this way anyway, sangha this association what kind of association sangha vivadjita in this particular verse has been described sulinanda santushto we are running out of time i have to stop santushto samasitro cha mitreja tatha mana apamanayo sitoshna sukadukke samas sangha vivadjita so that we discussed then tulya nindas to tirmoni santushto you know man is always happy is mm-hmm. is not uh, morose santushto means satisfied with everything whatever is happening sometimes things are taken away sometimes uh, you know so many different types of problem but he is satisfied with will of the providence lord is uh, giving us so he is giving opportunity to do 
and go deeper in the heart so everything is seeing as a opportunity for improvement to come close to the lord to surrender more like kunti maran is praying and give him more more troubles more difficulties is accepting so samasthitroj mein tada mano tulyan das tu tir manus samasthitroj mein tada mano santushta ena kena chit so the whatever happens whatever is coming is satisfied and then aniketa siramati aniketa means no residence who, who has what is the best example six god swamis not even one tree they were not even sleeping in one tree that also because we will be attached to this tree also many times we do that we are attached to the blanket we are attached to our dresses so many things we become attached to but the six god swamis very careful and not even want to be attached to the trees they are not even staying and giving of course compassion to all living including the trees and the birds who are sitting there that is there but they are conscious of themselves not being attached to the the trees because chatur mahaprabhu's big uh, mission is there if they become attached then it may become bharat maharaj they may fall down then you know it is not going to be uh, good to um, complete the mission of sri chatur mahaprabhu tekta torna masesha mandala pati srevenam sada tuchavat bhupa ganesha kaupina kanta srutau sri what is it um, um dada i am forgetting third line kallola magnav um, they are in the um, lahari kallola magnav they are in the ecstatic past times of the lord radha and krishna past time that they are immersed in that so that's why they are able to give up tekta torna means they are, they are big big post they are getting so much money there is no comparison in today's value for lakhs of gold coin for lakhs so many years ago this is Uh, almost 400 plus years ago 450 or 500 years close to 500 years ago uh, imagine now mm, so what is the value but still they have given up everything the prime minister chief minister all those positions also so that they are not attached to anything they are no residents mm, so even the sitting in vrindavan down they are they are satisfied with whatever mm, they are not even having salt they are they have to offer whatever roti they are making and they are offering no salt also lord is complaining accepted and what uh, we can do is yes, you can go and uh, take service from somebody else what can i do where will i where will i get salt from sanatan was on us discussing with the lord like that radha madan mohan madan gopal so in this way uh, so we can understand siramatir aniketa siramatir bhaktiman atiyo me priya very dear coming back to the akshay trutiya we quickly wrap it up Akshay Trutiya, so many past time. One is Madhavendra Puri, uh, this past time, so applying Chandan, no, of Chandan Yatra. But the other past times as I brought already, Ganga it came. Uh, the Yugas, each Yuga starts on this particular day, Akshay Trutiya day. Sudama Vipra, that is also. Lord Krishna personally came out to serve, to receive, to serve Sudama Vipra, to wash his feet personally for all others. Uh, he had uh, servants bring different things, but in this case, Swayam Shakti Samar Hanam, mm, Bhagavatam says, personally he served, he worshipped, he applied sandalwood, agaru, mm, arati, uh, flowers. He put him on his own bed. Not only him served, Rukmini Devi was standing. Uh, so he didn't add. He is the same. We can say Aniketa, uh, but he was aloof from that. He was not attached to anything. He was not desiring even any wealth, any anything. So that's why he was poor. He was not desiring God also not giving because he didn't desire. Uh, he, he was afraid that he may become attached. Then he cannot uh, think of Lord. So that's why he was not given. But when he came up, uh, on his wife's order, then Lord has given him. When he went back, he was not thinking any of that. But when he almost reached to his home, then he saw what has transformed. Then he was shocked. he couldn't recognize his own wife that the transformation has happened the lord has given the mercy so so the, all these things have happened on akshay tuti day because whatever we do on this day as per spiritual aspects it will increase and increase it will never decrease it will stay credit will be there and increases so on this day we should start mm, the chanting we should start reading bhagavatam we should start taking darshan of the lord whatever we do mm, from this day if we start then consistently we will be able to strength will be there mm, lord 
you get spiritual strength and spiritual intelligence. Mm, if you do it, if you submit to the Lord, Tulsi Maharani, Vaishnavas, Prabhupada, and start, then naturally, it, uh, so we will be able to do it every day without fail. Mm, so more and more. So that's why everything will uh, start on this day. Mm, all the important activities, Akshay to the mm, boat festival also. Mm, so, so many things are there mm, uh, on this day. Mm, so Kuvera receiving uh, the and to, for the, he became in charge for the treasury. So, like that, there are so many things. Parasuram appearing. Mm, so, so many of these important events on Akshatra. But Madhavendra Puris, the Chandana Yatra, mm, that is one. But there are other pastimes. Yudhishthira Maharaj and the Lord mm, was there on the lake. Mm, that pastime I covered previously one time. Uh, many different pastimes are related to Chandana Yatra. But Madhavendra Puris is very significant. Because he was a, aloof from all this. He was mauna. He was not speaking to anybody, as in this verse says. Mm. And Prabhupada is emphasizing on that. Uh, so mauna doesn't mean that you don't talk. Mauna means uh, you don't talk anything else. You talk mm, uh, always about Lord Krishna or related to Krishna consciousness. Uh, that is what mauna means. Uh, so that Madhavendra Puri, then when Lord has appeared in the day first time, they had to excavate to bring him out. Your Lord is in the bushes. That was happened. But the second past time, this time happened, Lord told, now you go and bring sandal. I am so hot. So hot. So bring sandalwood from all the way from Jagannath Puri. And then he was staying in somewhere in Mathura, Vrindavan. You had to go to all the way to Jagannath. That time, you know, buses, train, all this, and he was walking only. All through jungles and so many you know, decoids and whatnot. Uh, so he had to go through so much ordeal. Uh, he doesn't beg, he doesn't eat. Uh, so, but tomorrow he is ready to take. And Prabhupada is explaining on that um, particular uh, verses that one must uh, give up, one must take all the inconveniences. That means um, fame, dis uh, uh, infamy, whatever, honor, dishonor, happiness, distress, whatever. He had to go through all those. He tolerated all the inconveniences. He doesn't want to even give accept the rest, uh, the praises. So that's why he disappeared. If we were there, we would have stayed there and hear the glorification. Uh, so we should be very careful of that because our mind can bring us down immediately uh, if we are attached to the praises. So the Madhavendra Puri was very afraid of that. Uh, so he went all the way and got the sandalwood by the Parmi. He got the also. Um, Permission from the king because sandalwood somebody can steal or the toll collectors can stop. So many things can happen. So after so much ordeal, he receives the sandalwood pulp and then while coming back all the way to Vrindavan in the middle, Shirachur Gopinath, Lord Gopal appears again and in the dream and tells, you don't need to bring all the way, you just apply. Lord has accepted, he has done so much service, so much ordeal he has taken so, to Remuna, Shirachur Gopinath temple. There, he says, you apply there. Then Madhavendra Puri applies there. And then he saw that beautifully nice, they are offering this kheer. And then Lord steals one kheer kept for Madhavendra Puri. Then Madhavendra Puri was received, uh, finally, from the Brahman Pujari, as been told by the Lord. Uh, then he gives, and then immediately he heard, then he understood that now everybody will know. Uh, so immediately that night he disappeared. Nobody could find who, where is Madhavendra Puri. Uh, because everybody started down. But still, even after he left also, this is before Zandalwood. Uh, still, uh, he, still that news spread everywhere like a wildfire. But his uh, thought process is he doesn't want to hear even the glorification. And so for sure, anybody criticizing also is ready to accept. So And he has no residence. All these qualities fits perfectly because he's uh, uh, exalted Vaishnava Mahajan, mm, pure devotee of the Lord coming from the spiritual world. So he has applied sandalwood paste to please the Lord. He has done, he has taken all these inconveniences. Prabhupada's mm. quoting. And he quotes one verse. Mm. So most merciful, most compassionate. You are the Dina Dayardha Nada. For the poor, fallen, the lowest, you are the shelter, you are the most merciful, you are the deliverer of this fallen. Not only that, you are also Mathura Nath, you are for the 
all the Madhra Vasis, Vrindavan, Madhra is including Madhra, Vrindavan also comes in that. Mm -hmm. uh, you are the Lord of the Madhrana, that means he is talking about uh, Gopis. Mm -hmm. uh, is the Lord of the Gopis, Gopinath. Mm -hmm. So that's what he means, Madhra Nath. Ayi Dena Dayat Nath, Madhra Nath, Katava Lokese. Where can I find you? What can I do? What is my duty? Katava Loka say, Kim Karam Brahmayati. I'm roaming, I'm running around. What can I do? How can I? No, what service I have? I'm ready to accept anything and everything. You break my heart, you may. I will ready to go through anything and everything for your service. That is the worst. That, that is the significant verse, I think, fourth chapter, verse number 197, I think. Very prominent, important verse. One should know this verse, one should uh, offer prayers, recite this particular verse in this mood to uh, especially Sri Radha Samsunda, Sri Radha Madhav. Uh, this is the mood of the gopis, this is the mood of Nanda and Isha, this is the mood of the God boys, this is the mood of all the Vrindavan Vasis. They are in so much intensity. That's why they said, you are from that verse of Sikshastra Chitra Mahaprabhu is teaching that only. Other, uh, last verse. <coughs> That means you break my heart, you may do whatever because it is to only to please you. We are here. Mm. Uh, you can do anything. We are ready to accept. Mm. So we are here to only to please you. Not to expect something whether we will get pleasure or not, that is uh, immaterial. Uh, so that is the mood of Madhavendra Puri, that is the mood of the Gopi, that is the mood of Rundam. So that's why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu exhibiting the last two verses, teaching the Krishna Prema and intensity of separation, Vipralamba Bhav. Mm, so love in separation, great love, great attachment to the Lord. So, so that's how they are living in Rundavan. All these Rundavan, even Krishna left Rundavan and went <laughs> almost seven years old or so, 125 live. After so long, only when this so this uh, Radhayatra pastor at that time he came. Obviously, unmanifested is there, but law is teaching in different ways that understanding is there. But they, they didn't go back because they want to give pleasure to the Lord. They are not looking for their pleasure, they are feeling separation, but they are they want to give pleasure to the Lord. Anything which is displeasing to the Lord. Uh, they don't. They are not ready to do that. So it's a very important aspect. Prabhupada again and again repeat this particular point. Anything, whatever we are accept prasadat, bhagavat prasad. Whatever the chanting, the hearing, the reading, darshan, everything is to please the Lord. Lord wants to see us as much as we want to see. Take the darshan of the Lord. Lord wants to see us. So for that reason, I should go. I should go stay in front of the Lord. Uh, so he wants to see. Like our grandfather, uh, they want to talk to children. Children may not be ready to talk these days, but grandparents, they want to talk to their ch children. Uh, how they are doing, what are they studying, uh, what are they doing. Uh, they want to know. Uh, so, same thing with the uh, Supreme Father. He wants to see. Uh, he wants to see every living entity. Uh, so, in that mood, uh, to give pleasure to the Lord, uh, that should be our mood. All, you know, whatever way the culture was there, the relationship, everything, now everything can be applied to devotion service. That's how the, the society was built on. But now all these things has gone. Uh, modernization has come. No, none of these relations are there. No loving relationships. That is where the problem is. Uh, so uh, then bhakti is so easy. If that is the culture, then it's so easy. There's nothing say, a separate endeavor is not needed to perform bhakti. Because that is missing, so then we need to know everything from basics to advanced stage, everything about devotion service. That is the essence of this verse. We already ran out of time, I think. Yeah. So now we will take questions. Anyone has any questions? 15, 20 minutes. Uh, I'll give you time. Any questions you can ask? Children first. Anyone has questions? Kids. <coughs> Is here, Gandharuga is here. Where are others? Where is your brother? He's playing? Okay. Anyone has uh, questions? Okay, go ahead. Vajanapu.
Because Akshay Tutiya is telling that uh, nothing is destroyed. On this day, anything you do, it increases. So then uh, somebody has brought gold, then, you know, you generally mean the idea is uh, you, by gold you offered Lakshmi Devi or something uh, in the service of the Lord. That was the idea. But now that has become, okay, oh, gold will increase. Yes, so there's a property, that's a wealth. So, of course, it's good to buy gold than, you know, money or other things in that way. But uh, it needs to be understood, you know. So, money is uh, without the purpose of serving the Lord is uh, Vyardha. So, Paramartha and Vyardha is there. So, that's why it must be used in the service of Lakshmi Narayan. Then it will increase. Uh, otherwise, uh, as Parikshit Maharaj is telling, when the Kali, Kali didn't find a place, then he said, yes, you stay where the gold is and then a few other things he told. So that gold is representing something else, illusion. Hiranyakashipu is full of gold. He's looking for, still he was not happy. So that, uh, so that we should, we need to avoid that. Uh, so you can have gold, but that, that illusion uh, should be avoided. That's what it meant. Uh, is that okay? Anyone else? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it, it requires practice and uh, for the goal. One has to keep the goal. Goal, Krishna is there, then, you know, so just like, you know, you need to go to India emergency. The goal is here. Then whatever may come in between, you may have hurdle, then you may not getting the ticket or you may have to go to the, take flight to through Iran or Pakistan, whatever may be the case. Uh, then you will do anything because you have to reach India, then you will, because that is, that goal is there. Whatever obstacle may come, then you will forego everything. But same way here also. When Krishna is the goal, when Prabhupada is the goal, when the spiritual master is, whatever uh, Gita is saying is the goal, then uh, whatever may happen, then okay. Yes, we will accept and uh, move on, because otherwise I, my goal is disturbed. If I start thinking about all these XYZ, then my goal is being disturbed, my goal is stopped in the middle. So, we can't let it go. So, it's, uh, it's like that. So, We'll do anything and everything, just like for the children's uh, school, children's um, homework, children's food. Uh, we make sure that we don't miss it because if we miss it, what's going to happen, we know. And so we don't because that goal is there. So, same thing here also. Only thing is because the material priorities are driving our life. So that's why it is easy for those things. But when it comes to spiritual practices, it is not driving our life right now. It is not in the priority. It is in the back burner. So that's when it becomes so difficult. But uh, more we realize that fact, we will also put the Lord and spiritual activities also in the, at least to start with the same priority in parallel. Then gradually that can be in the forefront, uh, first priority, top priority. Then naturally, then uh, you will forego. Automatically, you will forego. Initially, it will be difficult because that practice is not there. But uh, once you start practicing in that way, then uh, will come. We will be able to forego things. Yeah, as we see in the children's school also. In the beginning, maybe middle school, elementary, maybe we may forego this, that, so many things. Yeah, you can miss. No problem. What is the big deal? But as you come to the 10th, 11th, 12th, then... And the kids will become serious and parent also become serious now because you can't forego things. You have to be very careful. Otherwise, you know, it becomes challenging and difficult to get into the right college and so many things you have to consider. Same thing here. So it takes time to come to that kind of, you know, seriousness and forego things. Same thing here. It takes time. Practice of devotion service also. We have to, that's what Krishna is telling that you have to practice, but at the same time you have to tolerate and patience has to be there. If you don't tolerate, then uh, it becomes difficult to practice uh, in devotion service. Uh, so, yes. 
yes in, intelligence has to be purified in these um, particular past times all the prut mahalas past time madhavendra puri's past time sudham vikas past time they are expensive you, you have to be aloof from the bodily activities how will you do that your intelligence has to be sharp your intelligence has to be very um, transcendental faith um, it has to act on then uh, naturally your goal you will stick to the goal um, so you will not be carried away with the things um, whatever people may say whatever people may create um, hurdles obstacles wherever in the office or in the temple or in the community uh, so wherever um, from different angles relatives and friends and what not from so many angles there, that also what um, sanat akur is describing in 10 different departments in 10 categories one category on uh, favorable relationships in that also is talking the associates the friends uh, um, different relationships is talking in you know, all these aspects um, and you should be very careful of uh, how you deal with those things also so, yes yes go ahead yeah Yeah, it's a good point. Yeah, um, that Prabhupada is teaching all um, as also when he is uh, leaving the body. Also, Prabhupada taught, and that is Lord Krishna's beginning. You know, the toleration means forgiveness has to be there because Lord is compassionate, and Prabhupada is compassionate. Ramanujari, all these acharyas are so much compassionate. They are ready to give their life and soul. So. and that is the verse also lord brahma himself is quoting that i have done so much uh, offenses uh, stolen cohort boys and everything when i came back and then i saw still you are uh, playing with the cohort boys then i have done a great blunder great mistakes uh, please forgive me and then he quotes the verse and there propose is telling yeah this is the verse one should imbibe this mood and practice it then only one can actually attain the goal attain krishna's mercy तत्यं कंपाउंड सुसा मीक समानो गुंजान ये वाक मुकतम विपाकम रुद्वाग बपुवे विद इस हार्ट माइंड एंड बॉडी वन शुड टॉलरेट कोऑपरेट टॉलरेट एंड टॉलरेशन मेंस वी हैव टू कोऑपरेट आल्सो वी हैव टू एडजस्ट एस हस्बैंड में भी वाइफ में भी चिल्ड्रन में भी पेरेंट में भी ग्रैंडफादर में भी सो मेनी इट कुड बी सो क्लोज रिलेशनशिप और इट कुड बी नेक्स्ट लेवल ऑफ रिलेशनशिप it would be you can expect any of these things uh, this kali yuga so these things uh, do happen and things are happening do happen not only happen it is happening uh, majority of the times so what do you do you you tolerate because who has given this relationship who has given who has arranged everything this is on lord's arrangement because how because in the past life we have done certain things so that's why we are coming together uh, it is not a question of we like it or not like it Right. 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 Right.
other things and it's an artist thing. Anything like you know, I think it's available on their way. So as I was telling that uh, the Prabhupada is teaching, Lord Brahma is teaching, this forgiveness has to be there. So, yes, there may be a, a relationship might have got hurt or whatever the case, but now you have to, because you, we are expected to operate in a different way, at a higher response, higher, as a responsible person. It is Lord is expecting that one who is practicing Krishna consciousness, supposed to act much higher and a better way than the other person. And Prabhupada expected that also from his disciples. Many times when he is in the flight or uh, different instances were there, Prabhupada is in the, 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 one time also his own disciple. He is taken money and he opened a restaurant and then at the end he said that this is mine. <laughs> Prabhupada said, then Prabhupada asked, okay, uh, that money, whose money is that? Prabhupada, yours. And then whose restaurant is that? It's mine. <laughs> Prabhupada didn't say anything. Then when he came back, he asked, what do we do with this devotee? Mm, then they all said, we should expel him, we should take him out, we should take the control of the uh, restaurant. Prabhupada said, then what is the difference between the outside people and uh, us? Then outside people, outside all the same thing is happening. Mm. Then if you neglect him, if we mm, send him out, what he will do? What will be his position? Mm. He will continue his practice of Krishna consciousness. What will happen to him? Then Prabhupada said, let, let him take, let him do it. So Prabhupada is so forgiving, so merciful, because he, he is looking at other angle also, because, he, okay, I can send him out, but then he is Krishna consciousness, so he will be out, because his faith is already we got, then only he is acting like that, directly with spiritual master, Mahajan, pure devotee of the Lord is there, but he couldn't, he's not realizing what he's doing. Then, but Sri Prabhupada, the way he acted, so that at least later on he will repent and he'll realize that. So that's why many times that realization, it may take a few years, sometimes a few months. Many of the mothers and fathers of these um, devotees, these exalted personalities, they didn't accept Prabhupada, they didn't accept Lord Krishna, because they are from Christian faith and Muslim faith and different faiths. Um, but as the maturity went on with the devotees, how Prabhupada dealt with them, parents, uh, how these devotees also dealt with their parents, then naturally their hearts got changed. Many of them became devotees. Many of them didn't take initiation, but they are able to remember as a Prabhupada or Krishna when they are leaving the bodies also. Hmm? Many pastimes are there. Now that is the mercy of the Prabhupada and the, their, uh, their sons and daughters following Krishna consciousness mm -hmm. and then loving Prabhupada always Mention that, mm -hmm. how you deal with the parents and your relationships uh, lovingly. It takes time. It takes time as practitioners. Uh, we all have shortcomings. That's why practice is not a few years. It takes a lot of uh, intensity and it requires a lot of prayers, a lot of mercy. Uh, then gradually we change because the heart is contaminated so many things, so many lifetimes. It takes time to come to that uh, level of openness, forgiveness. Uh, it takes time. Actually, we come, uh, we immediately react, uh, especially in a close setting in the family relationship. Also, we immediately react, even though we are practicing Krishna consciousness. That naturally, the human tendency is to react. More so outside, you may not react so much, but at home, we we may tend to react more quickly than mm, in other places. So it, take, it takes practice. That's a lot of hearing has to happen, a lot of service has to happen, a lot of prayers has to happen. So naturally, then we behave. So you can see this is a wonderful relationship of devotees. Mm -hmm. So many of the spiritual masters are Guruhastas, mm -hmm. like Vaisheshi Prabhu, 
wife uh, is there, Ambarish Prabhu, his wife, uh, Swahadev. Many of them, like Ambarish Prabhu and his wife, both are serving. Both are taking care of so many responsibilities, uh, serving Mr. Prabhupada's mission. Uh, yeah, Sarvadri Prabhu. Like that, uh, yeah. So many of them. So sometimes both of them, wife and husband, both are preaching, also both are doing so many. You know? So, Burujana Prabhu and his wife, Jagatarani Mataji. So, like that, there are many. Some of them are not uh, Krishna consciousness also. But still, they are favorable. So, um, that's why Prabhupada written that letter in the last class I mentioned to Madhukar Prabhu. His wife is a devotee, he is a devotee. He is also advanced, not our uh, Prabhupada is writing. Your wife is advanced devotee. And then, how. How you are writing that you want now to be separated, uh, it's creating obstacle. Where you got this kind of understanding, uh, personal service means, is that what you understood? Prabhupada left and right, he gave, he thought he expected that no Prabhupada will say yes, will give sanya. But he rather he didn't accept that. So, these things have to be, that's why these things have to be considered and discussed. If there is any you know, misunderstandings, uh, we should not take any decisions uh, immaturely. Uh, so, otherwise it will uh, just cause great disturbance. Because everywhere difficulty is there. Where there is no difficulty, tell the proper told, yeah, which temple is there? Take me a place where there is no difficulty, where there is no disagreement. There will be disagreement, because not uh, everybody is ripe mangoes, uh, so many unripe mangoes. So many different organs, but you must tolerate and uh, go on practicing because Krishna has to be in the center. So, uh, for that purpose, you must tolerate uh, all the hesitations. Uh, what you will do if uh, your husband is uh, Hindu and the wife is Muslim, then what will you do? In faith itself, you have a problem. Then you imagine if a different faith, then what will you do? There are some examples like that. Still, they are cooperating on the ultimate openness has to be there. Because it's ultimately because Krishna has arranged these relationships, whatever it is, it is Krishna's arrangement based on our activity. We have done something which uh, in the past which has allowed us this. So Krishna has given and arranged. Now because it is, so we have to act in such a way that uh, it, we have to tolerate. <laughs> we cannot say that. Uh, no, I can't tolerate. I will get out. Many things are happening. The devotees are doing that also. Uh, <laughs> that uh, these things have to be discussed. And in some cases, Prabhupada uh, didn't say yes, bro. Uh, keep you know, he lives separately. Hmm? He may be in the same house or uh, you know, uh, different houses. But uh, you don't need to physically or, or officially. You don't need to separate, even to that. That is the worst case scenario. That also has to be consulted, and uh, rather you have to work with uh, somebody who's a uh, realized devotee. Many times, we can, the devotees are also giving wrong, uh, wrong uh, advices. That's why we have to approach proper people, proper experience, and proper you know uh, has come to the maturity in Krishna consciousness. Um, things has to be understood in a proper way. So then only then we can take it according to that. You can tell that yes, there is a certain level, but uh, that level you do not know. Persons who are affected by that uh, cannot make right decisions. Right. Correct. Yes, you can. Yes. Then they are targeting Krishna. Right. Yes. You may not even bring any. Yeah. Based on the situation, you may not bring any Krishna consciousness uh, thoughts or discussions. It's not anything uh, why to bring it. You do your own thing and uh, let uh, other person also do their own thing. Because it is enough, is enough. We have come to a certain level.
don't let go of that life and anger and uh, Yes. Unintentionally, the reaction may be there, a teeny bit, that uh, Lord will, you know, use it in a different way, minimize it. You may get, uh, you know, some hand cut or finger cut, uh, blood here, there, a little bit, uh, or you may get into some accident, a uh, little bit, teeny, uh, teeny things. Uh, yeah, there will be definitely some level. Uh, so, but unintentionally done, definitely it will be at a minimal level. Even for devotees also. Devotees doesn't mean that uh, even if you do mistakes, uh, it will be, you know, it's, uh, completely, you will not get anything back. Uh, no, we should be careful of that fact. Um, so, but knowingly doing mistakes, uh, for sure. That's why Prabhupada uh, emphasized so many times. Maintain clean. Home clean, everywhere clean. If you don't maintain cleanliness, you have rats, you have mosquitoes, you have... Uh, uh, cockroaches and then you keep killing them, that, that is a sinful activity. Maybe one should be careful. But uh, many times devotees don't understand that. Prabhupada uh, chastised many times. I should kill you, not kill the cockroach. Uh, Prabhupada is serious about it. Because uh, as a devotee, we, we should, that's why Prabhupada is very uh, stressing on cleanliness. Uh, if you don't keep clean things, then of course you are inviting so all other jivas. Then it's not their fault. So, yeah. As a child, uh, if you commit, child, also child will not get. Until 16 years, father will get. Father, mother will get. So that, yeah. So that's a, the it is parents' responsibility to be careful of how we culture them, how we train them, and instruct them. Yeah. After 16 years, they will get. But until 16 years, is parents get. Anything else? Any other questions?